yes if you are experiencing this login for example when you are offline and you are trying to launch your fc25 offline and you will get this sometimes it happens to those who have collect shared accounts or had shared accounts if you are offline like this this video will help you fix because of late ea app is really messing up and is really nauseating so in this tutorial i'm coming to teach you or guide you on how to go about this and we will go back like michael jackson's moonwalk yes we are going back to origin so with this origin i will create group on telegram or maybe google drive so that you will launch it so if you are watching it from tiktok kindly come to my youtube channel and watch the video because i'll post the link on my youtube channel so that you can visit my telegram channel so let's go straight up to the video i have my origin set up here which i have origin and i have this version dot dll this is what we are coming to use in this tutorial first now if you are collecting shared account not you being an owner of the account shared account you need this video just install this origin setup which i've already explained that i will leave link to it so that you can download it with ease so you launch it then you will install it good so there it is then you take you untick run origin when windows starts then you take i have read and accept origin policy so let's go and install it okay i'm done installing it and you can see that yes i've already imputing my name here so you you close the origin app so let me close the origin app from here okay i don't think it's here so let me relaunch the origin again for us to see although i'm online right now but the origin will force itself to come offline it will ask you that it needs maybe login or anything so if certain comes like this just close it you don't need to do anything about it so let me go back and yes come here the origin is now working uh -huh. okay now it has opened here let me minimize this first it has opened here then you can see that origin is currently unavailable that means you are offline although my internet is active but you can see that no it is saying that it's unavailable and origin gives this feedback because when you are offline it will give you this feedback and that will help in this video so you close it first then you come to the version.dll you copy it then you come to your origin shortcuts you right click on it open file location just paste it here then if anything comes just overwrite it or okay sorry i'm using super copier so it won't do so let me use the normal one i've deactivated the super copier then you replace it continue yes then you close it so before you can access the origin again you need to reinstall it again so let me let us reinstall the origin again anytime you reinstall it again it will bring you online for the first time but the moment you close it you go offline so let's wait for it to install okay you untick again run when windows starts then you take accept policy then you install again okay good so it has bring me this dashboard for me to impute in my password which i'm about to do so okay so i am to send an email 
or verification login so let me send verification login which i'm waiting okay now i have my verification here which i'll paste it then you take remember this device then you launch it or you sign in so here is the dashboard that it will load for you to see that yes you are online although origin is not working any longer but when you use this procedure with the DL dll file everything will work for you which i'll provide it to so save okay then you come to origin then you come to settings first settings then saves installation save i've already created where i want my fifa to be or my fc25 to be i want it to be saved here you can use the same formula if you want to move it from different drive i've named this one fifa yes fifa and i'm coming to do it right here so let's go to the origin again i have my fifa files here already so let's go to the origin then i browse to let me open it wider for you to see okay so i open the fifa then select folder i click on select folder then it will be saved that means everything i'll do will go there so let's perform this task before we start everything at first in or in the beginning you have to disable automatic updates automatic origin updates or automatic game updates then you come to origin then you untick enable origin games you untick that too then you come to your library again so i'm now coming to install the game i just press on download yes i need it here yes then i agree with the policy the moment it start downloading i will just pause it then minimize it i have my fifa or fc25 files here already and this is the one it has created for me so i will delete the one here then i will cut the one from the desktop that's the file i have already then paste it here so i come back then i resume downloading so instead of it to download now it has turned to resuming and it will verify the available files when there is update there will be an update for it so let's wait to see how this will go yes it is moving fast because i'm using m.2 card or m.2 that's why it is moving fast but when you are doing it on hard drive it's it is a little bit slower so let's take note about that It is almost done 99 done yes so right now it is downloading some few megabytes to it i think it is downloading about three or two megabytes no not three or two maybe some few megabytes so let's wait for it to finish that downloads too <laughs> okay although it is saying it has encountered problem you blah 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 but everything is done right now your game is successfully installed so here is it let me come to the library first done okay 
let's wait for it to load okay i think it's, it has launched automatically so let me see whether it has launched here it's not here but let's wait for it to work out things okay so as it is doing i i don't have time for this so i will reinstall it and come back again so let's let me close it and reinstall it and come back again when i open or when i open the origin street let me open the origin street now i'll be offline although i will be able to access the game but i'll be offline so assuming you are done with everything it will tell me to update don't update and use origin offline so i'll be offline like this then i log in although my internet is on and after this i'll turn off my internet then let me impute in my password oh shit okay now i'm in and i'm i'm offline street street offline so you can launch the game here whilst you are offline yes so that's it for you guys and if you have the origin or, or uh, ea app already don't worry if you have installed the ea app you can uninstall the ea app then you use this procedure or you can install the game in ea app then you come here the moment you launch or you install the origin when you enter the account it will automatically verify instead of you to go through what i thought i thought in our previous video so or our, our previous minutes so just let us keep notes about it so that's it guys that's it you can line the game safely and you won't have any problems although you can connect internet so i'm disconnecting my internet then i will launch the origin again let me connect it disconnect it here first okay now i don't have internet here you you can see that yes there is no internet nothing so let me launch the origin yes now we are offline and now we can impute in our password yes fully offline and we can play the game i didn't open the game whilst i'm online because of this video but it will launch sometime it will even give me error because i haven't launched the game and i'm not ready to launch because my account is shared account and if i do that it will block some people's opportunity in login that means you will get they will get too many computers i think even i have too many computers issue right now but this is how you can go about it you can play it offline without any worries so guys keep supporting mr dida and enjoy your day